Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Music is a beautifully engaging experience. You listen to it to relax, get pumped for a workout, or maybe even create your own. La 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 la! <clears throat> but how does music affect your brain? Let's start off with how music gets processed. Fun fact, regardless of your music preferences, your brain experiences music the same way that other people do. In a study where non-musician volunteers listened to four symphonies by William Boyce, an fMRI showed that they all had activity in the brain regions involved in movement, motor planning, attention, and of course, the auditory cortex. And this synchronized brain activity isn't what scientists would have expected if music was processed the same way as other auditory stimuli. What I'm saying is your brain treats music differently. In fact, at the peak emotional time during a song, dopamine is released in the brain's striatum. This is the same neurotransmitter involved in more tangible pleasures like food, sex, and drugs and apparently rock and roll. Even more, along with the peak emotional times, dopamine is also released during the anticipation of these times. So basically, listening to music is amazing and your brain is encouraging you to keep doing it through the release of dopamine. And believe it or not, music can also influence how we perceive faces. For example, take a look at this fine gentleman. He's not really showing much emotion, so we'll say it's neutral. However, if you happen to listen to a sad song before watching this video, you're more likely to view his face as sad. On the other hand, a happy song would prime you to think that his face is happier instead. Pretty cool, right? Furthermore, listening to classical music may improve visual attention in stroke patients with unilateral neglect. A study tested how silence, white noise, and classical music affected these patients, and classical music had the most positive effect. And interestingly, silence resulted in the worst scores. So it seems like noise is good for visual attention, but music is better. And lastly, did you know that playing a musical instrument can make you smarter? This guitar has made me a genius, and slightly annoying at parties. A study from 2008 showed that children who had at least three years of instrumental music training performed better than their non-musical counterparts on a variety of tests. The researchers think that this is because decoding written music might increase reading ability and visual pattern recognition. So for those of you who have given up on learning an instrument, you may want to reconsider. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Okay, never mind. We love music, but not as much as Anthony Fantano over on The Needle Drop. We're obsessed with his album reviews, and you should check him out. It's time for a review of this new Weezer album, White Album, the White Album. Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video. As always, I'm Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.